Hello, I'm David Scranton, and thank you for clicking this video. So now is the perfect time to introduce today's guests. First of all, Jeff Small, president of Arbor Financial Services. Jeff, as usual, great to talk with you. Great to be here, Dave. As well as a good friend of the income generation, a repeat guest, and someone I consider to be a real estate mogul in his own right, Robert Kiyosaki, best-selling author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and founder of Rich Global LLC. Robert, thanks so much for being back with us here on the Income Generation. Oh, thank you. It's always nice to be our guest. So, Robert, you know, just when you think that real estate can't go up any higher, it does the exact opposite and it keeps going up higher. When will we hit the maximums now in real estate values or have we peaked at this point in time with real estate values? Well, these are unusual times. And uh, I'd be, and all that means is be more cautious. You've got to be smarter because, as you know, the problem with real estate is illiquid. So you make a mistake with real estate, you're the skipper of the Titanic going down with it. Well, but the question, though, is, have we hit our maximums? Is there room for more appreciation in real estate? And if there isn't, what is your forecast going forward? Will the Fed wreck the markets by raising rates in 12 months or, or 24 months? Well, I don't really care because um, real, real estate is not about price going up. It's about cash flow. It's about income, income generation. That's all I care about. The second thing about real estate is it, I use debt financing and interest rates are at 2%. I mean, it's, that's what was one of the reasons real estate is going up and I pay no taxes. And uh, if you don't pay any taxes, that's more income. <laughs> So, Robert, when we look at the real estate market today, we know we've come up from the bottom of 2008 in those lows. And But what also has caused these prices to increase is rental properties. Rents are going to the moon. Why are rents going up? Is it Does it run lockstep with the prices in a, in a proportional fashion? Um, you know, rents have just gone crazy. So tell us why rents have gone up so much. Well, that's a good question, but I'm glad they are. But... Uh... You know, there's a lot, real estate, you have to be an entrepreneur. I mean, really, seriously, it's a business. And you've got to run it because the hardest thing about real estate is property management. You know, financing, putting the, you know, putting it together, putting the deal together, the raising the financing is the easy part. Can you can you maintain long-term property management? And that, that's why my, when I, my partner, Ken McElroy, who, by the way, has great books on it, Ken McElroy, The ABCs of Real Estate, I strongly recommend getting that because the reason he's my prop, my partner is because he has one of the biggest property management companies in the Southwest. I don't like managing property. And that's one of the biggest reasons people don't like real estate is they don't want to fix toilets at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes to get that kind of phone call, right? That's not a very good phone call, but you got to have people on deck like your partner does in a property management scenario. So, the barrier to owning rental to owning rental properties, though, is the price because the cost to benefit's got to be there. You want to have positive cash flow. You don't want to be dumping money into a property and have a negative cash flow. And so, at this type of in, in this type of market environment, prices are really too high to get into rental properties, aren't they, Robert? Not for me. No, I just bought I just bought sixty <laughs> units in Austin, Texas. The difference is, I call it. This is not the scientific term. It's called a twist. What can you, as an entrepreneur, what can you do to that property that'll increase its value and the rental income? For example, one of my very first properties was a two bedroom, one bath house in Portland, Oregon. All we did was add a second, uh, another bedroom and another bath to it, and it almost tripled the rent. See, but I look at it as an entrepreneur. I'm not, I'm not a gambler. I, I don't just buy and flip. And I still have that property today. So, Robert, it's always good to talk with you, uh, especially about a topic like real estate, which is near and dear to your heart. Robert, Jeff, thank you both. Thank you. Thank you, David.